Hey yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another video. Wishing you all a happy new year. Today I will be teaching you guys how to edit like Xen or somewhat like him on Sony Vegas. Anyways, here's the preview of what you're learning today. Okay, so first off there are some quick little steps we gotta do. First off you want to install all the presets which are linked down below and make sure you own all the plugins which are listed in the description as well. Also make sure to stick until the end of this tutorial because the render settings can make or break the entire style. But first we gotta do some quick Vegas settings which I'll be showing you right now. So let's get into Vegas. Okay, so first things first, we got to adjust the Vega settings. But through that, go into Options, Preferences, Video, and then just drag the Dynamic RAM Preview Max up a lot. So I would say like 66% of all your available RAM, unless you have 8 gigabytes or less. Then you would have to pick what matches what you'd like to do on the site like applications you want to have open while editing and stuff make sure you have enough for those as well and maximum number of rendering threads just drag those up all the way for me the max is 84 for you it may be, may be more because of your processor configuration and stuff uh gpu acceleration is what you like to use i like to have it on on just my gpu you can turn it off if you if you hate those bugs, but for me they don't happen that often, so it's your own preference. Then just hit apply, it may tell you to restart your Vegas. Then for me it doesn't right now because I already had the settings applied, but you may want to restart your Vegas for the settings to be applied. And then just exit out of here and let's create a new project. So for the project settings, just follow my lead. Go to file new make the resolution just 1080p build order non picture aspect ratio make sure they don't square because if not your resolution will be totally just messed up then go to frame rate and make sure it's on 60 you can choose it here but you can just type over there and then just click enter uh, and also you want to make sure the pixel format is 8 bits and the full render resolution rendering quality is set, set on best. Motion blur type, just leave it default. Resample re, re mode is quite important. You want to have that on disabled. And after that, that's everything we need to change. Then just hit OK and create a new project. And just make some layers, insert, insert. I like to make, for this style, I like to make three layers. Three separate video layers and three separate audio tracks. So that you want to import your media. So I will see you when I have that done. Okay, so now I have everything imported. And first off, let's just start with dragging in our song. Drag it right there. Uh, if your timeline sh if your timeline shows up like this, you want to just change it by clicking time format and then just click. time and frames and then that's that now i think you should first off drag in your clip if you don't have long clips so this clip isn't quite long so i'll, I'll do i will just drag this in and find where the kill is so for me that's right right about here and then click m on your keyboard to mark it just like that zoom out a bit and make sure to sync up your audio. So you might want to listen to it. For me, the, the main drop is there, so I'll try to sync it up by dragging it. Uh, just make sure the first clip is synced perfectly. Then just drag the audio to the start again. And now listen to it if it's perfectly synced. That seems right about right to me. 
Now the next thing we want to go ahead and do is drag in our island. So I'll just find my item real real quick. I know so. There you go. Okay, so for me, as you can see, the item has a bla black background. To remove the background, you want to just enable the alpha channel if you rendered with a alpha channel on, of course. So I would uh, say to pick alpha channel and then pre multiply dirty because all the light will remain as well. So then just split the clip at the end of your ident. So for me, where the ident is gone fully. So you can also use your arrow keys to move through the clip. So there, split the clip like that. Then what we want to go ahead and do is uh, find scan lines in the effects. So S scan lines from Sapphire, drag that on your clip below your ident. Then make sure the line frequency is on a hundred. And that makes it way better like that. Then exit out of here. And then what you want to go ahead and find is hot spots, also from Sapphire, just drag that on. It helps a lot to me. Then you can just mess around with the settings and the threshold. Hmm, I think I like this. I like that a lot. For me, the uh, the ident matches perfectly with this beat. Oh, I mean, almost perfectly. So maybe you want to try and try to match it with a beat as well or make, just make sure it's synced a bit because then it will look 10 times better okay so now that we have that done we want to just go ahead and mark out all of our beats so to do that here's one and here's another one and make sure to only mark the primary beats which are le up leading to the main beat because that's what Xen does as well. So mark them right there and here's another one. And I see another. If there's a double beat you want to just mark the main one of them. Because else the effect just won't look good. Okay so now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is Go on our uh, main tail and then on our keyboard press Ctrl G and then type minus 30 and then click enter. Then just zoom in and split the clip right there. And make sure to remove all of these audio fades to maintain a smooth audio. Then apply uh, one of the presets which you downloaded which will be will be sync if I extend velo velocity 30 frames then just apply that and you can quickly watch it if it's still synced as it should be that looks good now before we apply shake we want to just render this out quickly so I will I will see you when once this is rendered Okay, so after you're done rendering, you want to just go ahead and delete everything, uh, essentially, if you have rendered the entire sequence, of course. If you have only rendered the twix a Twixter, just only remove the original Twixter part. But for me, I rendered everything because it makes it a lot easier to uh, apply everything to these beats. Now, you can change your cursor or uh, tool by pressing D on your keyboard. So, I changed it to it. I change it to a selection tool so I can delete everything quickly. Then just change it back to your original cursor and drag in the Twixter sequence. Then make sure you sync it up. And then just delete the audio because I accidentally rendered it the double audio. But you don't need the audio anyway because we are going to use a sound effect. 
remove it by pressing Ctrl U on your keyboard to loosen these or ungroup these and then just click delete on your keyboard on the audio track to delete it fully. Then you want to just put a fade in on the start so I would go like 12 frames for this so right there 12 frames and then change the fade type to this up going curve. Okay, so that's that. Make sure it's still synced. And it is. Then you want to just listen to these beats again. Uh, I think I'm going to only use this main beat right here because not it will look fairly quick. So I'm not going to use these because they are too far. I recommend you pick four beats which are upgoing to the main beat and then just I will show you guys how to make the invert beat so first split it right there and then go out six frames one two three four five six and then split it again six frames is also just a number which I normally use because generally it's good but first you want to apply Syncify Xen beat invert and then just click OK. Okay, so it looks a little fast. Maybe we'll come back to that later to change it if it's necessary. Now you want to just go ahead and do the same for every single beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Split it right there. Apply the same preset over and over again. Uh, split it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Split. And apply the beat. Shake again. Or well, shake. Beat effect. A better description of what is what this is. And then on the last beat, also apply it like normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Split it right there. And then. Uh, Just apply the and preset again. Now you want to watch it and make sure it looks good. So. Oh yeah, that looks quite nice honestly. Now you want to go to the last beat or the last invert and then sir, go into your video FX and find warp and then vortex, warp vortex from sapphire and this is just a build up for the main beat only so you, want to, you don't want to use this over and over again drag the inner radius up a bit and just mess with the settings I would recommend a vortex start of a, around 7 and a inner radius of about 0 0.08 and then you want to go ahead and find warp uh, fish eye and drag that on as well and make it a negative one and just put it like around minus 0, 0.20 like that. Now if we watch this entire thing. And we're missing some sound effects. So we want to go ahead and drag on the Xen sound effect from the link in the description. And then put it on the kill. So here's my kill and sync it up and look maybe well for me that's a bit loud so I'll drag it down and match it yeah for me that's good negative 10 decibels sounds about right to me then split it on the kill and apply the shake preset which is which is also linked down below so it's called Synctify Xen Main Impact and you will need new blue plugins with, but I will link it, uh, a video on how to install those down below as well. So then just drag it on and it will look quite fast. If you this. Uh, 
as you can see, now we have this nice warp impact. But we are missing something. Uh, and that is a little more velocity. Because it, Xenis velocity is quite aggressive. I guess you could say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 frames out. Then zoom in. And put it on a custom velocity of 60. Or, or I mean 65. And then put it on 65. Like that. And as you can see, that's our shake complete. Now, if you think the shake, go, well, the tilt is too long, you can just always change it, change that by going into. This needs to be velocity. No, I mean 65. You can always change it by going in here and picking the second S shake and go to the end of your clip and drag the amplitude. Well meet but drag it to zero like that now there's one thing left to do and that's apply our cc okay so to apply the cc is it's also quite a simple process just go into into the layer fx but it might not show up for you so to change that go into the three little bars or for me it's little dots because i'm on a newer version and then just click show all and then okay and then go into the FX and then wait for it to load and apply Synctify Xen CC. It's also included in the preset uh, file in the description and just apply it and it will look something like this. Uh, if it's rather dark for you, then you might want to change it. The, uh, then you might want to change this curve right here. And also make sure the flicker matches your uh, project or better it will like just change it to uh, your liking so that you're okay with how it looks or just remove it completely but I think it's quite essential to the style but I'm preferred. Just leave it like that and then okay and that's basically that. Now for the most important step of this style is render settings, which I will show you right now. Okay, so what you want to do to make the render settings go into file, render as, and then make a new template. But to do that, go into Internet HD from the Ma Magix AVC AAC MP4, and then customize the template. And then pick a custom resolution by picking custom frame size and use the resolution you'd like. I will use 4040p because it looks generally good on YouTube. And then change the RC mode from uh, PBR to CBR so you have a constant bitrate of, I would like say 50,000 bitrate is good for quality. Then the frame rate might seem weird to you, but put it on 24. And then the pixel aspect ratio leaves on that. Then go to project and make sure video rendering quality is set on best. And that's basically it. Then you want to just save this as like Xen render settings. And then click OK. And that's that for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.